जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल स्टूडेंट्स लर्निंग इज प्लेजरेबल बट डूइंग इज द हाइट ऑफ एंजॉयमेंट एक्चुअली यू डोंट लर्न टू वॉक बाय फॉलोइंग रूल्स इंस्टेड यू लर्न बाय डूइंग एंड देन बाय फॉलोइंग ओवर वेन लाइट ट्रेवलिंग इन अ मीडियम स्ट्राइक्स अ रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस then it goes back into the same medium obeying certain laws this phenomena is known as reflection of light now in order to verify the laws of reflection we require a plane mirror with holder a laser pointer drawing pins protractor scale and pencil so students the aim of this particular activity is to study about the reflection of light and we are going to experimentally verify the laws of reflection so students in the process we are going to prove that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and the incident ray reflected ray and the normal all lie on the same plane initially we need to make use of a scale so as to draw a line parallel to the length of the white sheet thereafter we need to draw a normal at this particular point so we make use of a protractor and we draw a normal normal students it's a imaginary line which is perpendicular to the given surface so this is the normal it has to be represented by dotted line now we need to represent the incident ray and let us consider the angle of incidence to be 30 degree so this is 10 20 30 and angle of incidence is to be measured with respect to the normal so now let's join this so this will represent the incident ray now students let us fix two drawing pins on the incident ray and it is to be ensured that the pins are vertical and they should have a minimum separation of 8 to 10 cm after that students we need to place the plane mirror and then look for the images of the two pins which we have fixed on the incident ray here students you can see the virtual images of the two pins which are fixed on the incident ray the image is as far as behind the mirror as the object is in front of it and also the size of the image is same as that of the object position your eyes in such a manner that the images of the two pins lie on a straight line now we need to fix the third pin and place it properly in such a manner that the feet of this pin along with the images of the two pins on the incident ray lie on the same straight line in the very next step we need to follow the same procedure and place a fourth pin again in such a manner that the feet of all the four pins these two pins along with the feet of the images of the two pins on the incident ray all lie in the straight line and by sidewise movement of the eyes we can notice that there can be only one unique position where all the four pins appear to be lying on the same straight line yes this is the position this is perfect one students there is an alternative way as well by using laser beam we can also check whether the positions of the pins on the incident ray and the reflected ray are correct or not this is the incident ray and this one is the reflected ray so by using laser beam it can be verified whether the positions of the pins which we have located is correct or not now after locating the position of the pins we need to remove the pins one by one and then encircle the position of the pins both on the reflected ray and then encircle the positions of the pins in the incident ray after that we need to join the positions of the pins so as to obtain the reflected ray this is the reflected ray now using protractor we can easily measure the angle of reflection 
it is the angle which the reflected ray makes with the normal now you can easily see the angle of reflection as measured is found to be 30 degree which is exactly equal to that of the angle of incidence now students don't forget to indicate the direction of the incident ray as well as the reflected ray now here students i have verified the laws of reflection corresponding to the angle of incidence of 30 degree and angle of incidence of 40 degree in the first observation when the angle of incidence is 30 degree then the angle of reflection which is the angle which the reflected ray makes with the normal that is also measured to be 30 degree so obviously angle of incidence at a point is equal to the angle of reflection in the second observation again this is the incident ray and this is the normal and the angle between them would be the angle of incidence so corresponding to the angle of incidence of 40 degree the angle of reflection which when measured with the help of a protractor is again found to be same which is 40 degree so for any angle of incidence the angle of reflection must be exactly equal so this is the first law angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection and the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal to the mirror all lie in the same plane so thus laws of reflection is verified right so that's it for this particular session students keep watching my videos for new experiments activities and new theoretical concepts right thank you